Hello, I'm Alan Parton. And I'm John Eifler. We would like to introduce our paper in this month's BJUI entitled An Updated Prostate Cancer Staging Nomogram, The Parton Tables, Based on Cases from 2006 to 2011. Authored by John Eifler, Zhao Yong Feng, Brian Lin, Michael Parton, Elizabeth Humphreys, Misa Pine, Jonathan Epstein, Patrick Walsh, Bruce Trock, and Alan Parton. The Parton Tables, first introduced in 1993, were developed to help counsel men with prostate cancer on the likely extent of disease prior to definitive therapy. Over the years, due to stage migration and alterations to the Gleason scoring system, the presentation of men with prostate cancer has changed. Our paper presents new updated Parton Tables based on a contemporary population of men with prostate cancer. In this paper, we evaluated 5,629 men who underwent radical prostatectomy and staging lymphadenectomy at our institution between 2006 and July 2011. Logistic regression was performed to predict the probability of each pathologic stage category based on serum PSA, biopsy Gleason score, and clinical stage. The Gleason grade was determined based on the 2005 International Society of Urologic Pathology modified Gleason grading system. Based on these changes, we compared models that combined Gleason 8 to 10 disease with models that separated Gleason 8 from Gleason 9 to 10. The latter model demonstrated that men with biopsy Gleason 9 to 10 have a higher risk for positive lymph nodes and positive seminal vesicles than those with Gleason 8. So the new Parton tables represent biopsy Gleason 8 as a separate category. Several novel findings were established in the new tables. Number one, men with biopsy Gleason 8 disease had similar predicted pathologic stage to men with Gleason 4 plus 3 disease for each serum PSA and clinical stage category. Number two, the probability of having positive seminal vesicles or positive lymph nodes was similar from PSA 2.6 to 10, but increased sharply for PSA above 10. Number three, using the NCCN recommendation that lymphadenectomy be excluded if the risk of lymph node involvement is less than 2%, the current nomogram suggests that all men with Gleason 6 disease and PSA less than 10 could avoid lymphadenectomy, as could all men with T1C disease, biopsy Gleason 3 plus 4, and serum PSA less than 10. In conclusion, we have created new parting tables based on a contemporary cohort of men undergoing radical prostatectomy and hope they will serve as a treatment decision aid for men newly diagnosed with prostate cancer. We hope you enjoy our paper.